we take the three possibly greatest foods ever, macaroni, pizza, and bacon, and turn them into one amazing dish. How great will this be? How great will this be? Damn great. Super excited about this. Look, you could use a store-bought pizza dough. You could use a crust. You could get one of those roll-up things that come out of the refrigerator section by the butter. That's not what we're doing today. Oh no, we're making our own with a handful of ingredients that you should know how to do. Whether you're locked down or not, whether you're in freaking isolation or not, or whether it's a regular day, at some point in the year, you've just been outside playing, walking in crowds, saying hi to everybody, now you wanna make your own. But we're not cooking it like a regular pizza in the oven. It's gonna be a pan job. Pan job. And by the way, that pan job will be cooked right here behind me on the grill. Oh, we're not going inside. Screw the inside. Everything's right here. Should we start with our dough? Pan job? Not pan job yet. Pan job comes in a minute. Now we start with our dough. This is a uh, regular everyday food processor, and I have the S blade inserted. Here we go. Two cups of flour. Looks like this. One. Two. We're gonna hold back a half a cup in case we need more. One packet of fast acting yeast. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of sugar. We give it a quick mix. Now we add the wet stuff. One of the wet ingredients is, is warm water. But because we're using yeast, if the water's too hot, it will kill the yeast. And we don't want that because it won't do the right thing. We want the water between about 120 and 130 degrees, no more than that. So I have hot water in my thermos here that I will check with my instant read thermometer and it's reading 169, so that's too hot. So now let me add a little cold water to this. We'll try and bring it down a bit. Now test. Perfect. It's about 125. We can pour this in. So three quarters of the cup of this water. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And what do we do, Max? We, mix. we process, Max. We process. We, process we want to mix this till it turns into a soft dough. And you can see it comes together very quickly. Stop and take a look. It's almost perfect. You see this came away. It's a tiny bit sticky, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour. Remember, I held back about a half a cup. I won't use that much. I'll just use maybe a couple tablespoons now. Give it one more whirl. That's it. And again. Perfect, perfect. So before we take it out, we're gonna put a little olive oil in a bowl. Put a little flour on our face. We have flour on our face? God, you always wait till the end to tell me shit. Little olive oil in here. Let's grease up the sides a bit. Bottom the sides. Now we can take this out. Watch. Let me make this nicer for you, Max. Beautiful. Feels like dough. It's lovely like dough. It's not sticky. You can see that. We want to make just this beautiful little ball out of it. Who says I'm not a baker? Look how gorgeous that is. What did we forget? We didn't forget anything. Wow, the other day was brutal, man. What, did you forget yeast? Oh, no, we got it all. Okay. The ball of dough goes in our bowl. We take a towel. We cover it, we put it in a warm place for about a half hour. I promised bacon, we're gonna cut bacon. A bacon will go in the Mac on the Mac, because that cannot be a bad thing. Let's cut. How much do we need, Max? I think we need this much, Max. That looks good to me. <laughs> it looks good to me too. So, I don't wanna make the pieces too small. So I'm gonna go like this, okay? 
So I started cutting and Max said, ah, smaller will look better. So smaller is what he gets. Now I got to reconfigure the whole cutting freaking process to do this easily. So we'll stack these guys on top of each other. Max. So we get these all stacked up kind of as evenly as you can. I'm just being way too anal about this is really what my problem is. And then I'll cut these into pieces. It's always better if your bacon's like a little frozen, but we'll be all right. And these shrink down in size when you cook them. Max will have his bacon bits when we're done. All right, this is done. Into our pan it goes. Love the sizzle. And on the heat. This is just bacon cooking 101. We have quite a lot here, Max. Yeah. I think we're going to be happy with it. And while this is happening, let's get some uh, panko a little crispy, okay? We'll move that over. We'll put that pan on the heat. We'll give it a little butter. And you know what? Just for fun, why not let's just give it a little bacon grease too. How could that be bad? It can't. Let's get a little panko, Japanese breadcrumb. And we mix. And our goal is simple. Just a little light brown color on this. And the butter and the bacon grease are definitely going to help. So leave that. Stir our bacon some more. Wait for this to finish. And when it's ready, and the panko's ready, we'll take them both off the heat. All right, so we'll start by taking our bacon out of the pan. Putting it on paper towels so it dries. The grease comes off. I want a little grease in the pan, but I don't want a lot of grease in the pan. So we'll pour off most of it. Like that. We have a tablespoon or so in here maybe. All right, put that to the side. Take our breadcrumbs out. Don't you just wanna like put your face in there and eat like a cow out of a trough? Like how, yes. like how good they look. On anything, by the way. Crispy panko breadcrumbs, one of the keys to the Korean short rib taco at Not Not Tacos. And if we ever open again, we'll be making the damn things. All right, time for our macaroni. We begin by cutting an onion. Take the ends off, cut it in half. And take this guy. And this will go in our little pot here that's on the heat. With a little oil. We'll get that cooking and softening. Mix, break up. That gets about five minutes till it softens. In the meantime, let's talk about our pasta. So I go to the store today to buy the ingredients for this. And I get to the pasta aisle, dried pasta aisle. And what do I find, Max? An empty aisle? Not as empty as the toilet paper. There's still not a piece in the place. I don't understand it. That really makes me crazy. But the pasta, you think there'd be some stuff. I took a picture on Panorama so you could see the whole shelving unit. What do you think of that? It's nuts. I was really left with very few choices. I was not buying a gluten-free pasta. In fact, I didn't even want a whole wheat pasta. So I bought the most normal thing I could find. You ready, Max? Ready. Organic princess pasta. Oh my god. Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way, yes. At all. You could be a princess too, just like Sam. <laughs> I'm using princess pasta. Uh, I guess they're like little uh, castles. 
He's and crap. Same Actually, as a princess. <laughs> the past abilities are endless. Uh, okay, wait. Here. Look at what we've got in here. Look, Max, there's castles. And there's crowns. What the hell is this? It looks like a whisk. It's not a whisk. Oh, maybe it's a wand. Is it a wand? That's it. That's the, that's that's everything they've got. Lots of crowns. Because you're no princess without a crown or a castle. We're left to guess. Let's put them in our boiling water. And I'm gonna go. Let's see how many ounces is this? Twelve ounces. There we go. Don't oh, forget these guys. And you know what I say? Whenever you put in pasta into the water, you gotta stir it right away, or it'll clump. Don't turn your back on it. You come back in a minute after dumping it in, you have one giant clump of castle, crown, and whisk pasta. All right. We're gonna let that cook, and now we're gonna continue on with our macaroni because our onions are softened where we want them. And this goes down like this. So into our onions, a couple tablespoons of butter, We'll get that melting. And when it melts, it gets the same amount of flour, two tablespoons. And if I can do that, it'll look like this. One and a half, two. And we mix. Mix it around for about a minute. I always say it, we're getting rid of that raw flour taste. Do not want at all. And then we're gonna add a cup of milk. That in my mind is that. Same amount of cream. We mix. Now you're just trying to get the flour mixed in with the liquids and they will help thicken. And you'll see in a minute, that will start to do its thing nicely. And now, Max, if you're ready, I want a couple cups of cheese. We'll go about one cup at a time. Stir our pasta. Coming along, not quite there. The rest of our cheese. And two other things, a little garlic powder, about a teaspoon, and about a tablespoon of barbecue seasoning. That's gonna be great. And we mix. This mac I'm gonna want fairly thick because it's going on our pizza and I don't want it to run off, you know? I don't want it to be wet mac, which definitely has its place, just not here. And when our pasta is ready, in it goes. You know, I don't have my Chinese fishing net. Hey, hey, get away. And we mix. Oh, one more thing. Remember what I said? Bacon on, but also bacon in. Beautiful. Ow, 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 ow. Shit. Ow, ow, ow. Oh boy, that's going to be, ah, ah, you know, I could, ah, ah, there we go. Oh man, oh man, just stop here and I think it would be rather incredible. Look, if it gets too thick, I could just take a little bit of the pasta water that I've saved and use some of that to thin it. But I like where it is. And now, Max, you know what time it is? Dough time. Dough time. And here we are. There's our nice ball of dough. So let's take it out. A little flour. Come on, buddy. So now, Max, here's the problem that I have. 
The idea is that that will cook in here. So do I do half of this and spread it out thinner? Should I do that? I'm asking yeah. you for answers. I know, what do I know? I know, what does any of us know? I've not done this, if it wasn't obvious, but I think this is gonna be a great idea. So this is gonna be too thick. Let me make it half, okay? Okay. Just slightly more than half. Wow, what a... And this little guy, uh, I can go back in my fridge and I'll use it in the next, uh, you know, couple days for anything. So a little flour on. And now I'm just gonna stretch this guy out a bit. In fact, look what I can do. I can even roll them out using my thermos for my hot water. This is perfect. This is everything I wanted it to be except perfectly round, which apparently I'm never able to do with a pizza. But watch what we're gonna do now. We have some grease right here, right? I'm gonna throw this on the grill for a second just to warm up that grease, like that. We're just gonna give it a second, just to heat up. I want the bottom warm. That's what she said? That's what she said. You know it's appropriate that we're using princess pasta and I'm drinking out of a frozen cup. I was wondering about let it go. Do you want to build a snowman? That's all I know. I promise. Right. I promise. Yeah, right. That is all I know. You know a lot more of Moana. No, I don't really. Uh, I've been sitting at the edge of the water. Do, do, do the daughter. Never really knowing why. Okay, here. Now you see now my, my grease. I don't know if you can see it. The bacon grease. Now you see it's moving around in here, right? Yep. Okay, so. This side is on high. This side is on low. We're going to use this in a direct, indirect way. Check this out. The pan goes down, and into it goes our dough. And in we go. I like that it comes up the sides a little bit, Max. So get it comfortably seated in here, as they say. Now we go back on the heat, on the hot side. I'm not trying to cook it. I'm not trying to make it crispy. I'm trying to warm it up, get it partially done on that side before I give it a flip. And here we are. So now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip this over. You can see it's loose in the pan and that's great. I'm gonna give this a little brush of the bacon grease because we might as well take advantage of it, right? And we don't want it to stick again. Now I'm gonna try and flip this. My hand and then in, now watch. So give it some shape in the pan, perfect. You see, look, it's just started cooking. That's what I wanted this thing to do. So we push it down against the sides. Now we can start to build. And the first thing we're gonna give it is a thin layer of barbecue sauce. It's this bacon macaroni theme that we're going with. We don't want a lot, so we're not gonna give it a lot, that much. You just wanna be able to taste it underneath. Perfect. And then we come with our macaroni to the sides. This is going to be fantastic. What do they call a pizza in like uh, New York? You go, let's go get a what? A pie. That's Slice. it. Yeah. Slice or a pie. Look at it. We're making a pie. An actual like pie looking pie. Two things left. To, all we have to do is this. This extra bacon that I promised. Fantastic. There we go. Not too much. That looks great to me. And then those crispy breadcrumbs. The crispy panko. And now, ladies and gentlemen, back in we go. And that will look like this. And now I'm coming over here to the not hot side, the low side. And we let it do its thing. I'm gonna guess five minutes, five, six minutes. 
We want the dough chewy, but cooked enough. The macaroni heated all the way through. Everything doing all the right things. And here we are. So let's look at this. Let's figure out how we're going to get this out. Oh. Ah, ah, look it. You can call it a pizza. You can call it a pie. You can call it a pizza pie, but whatever you call it, there's gorgeous macaroni and cheese with bacon. There's breadcrumbs on top, crispy. That's a light brushing of barbecue sauce underneath. And there's that pork seasoning all through it. All right, let's have a bite. So because I ripped the edge a bit, I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna get a proper wedge out of this guy. Ah, I love him. So let's have a look. I will take my slice out from here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, come on. I love it. I love the layers. I love the crust. I especially love the fact that I got to cook this in one pan. And here's what we have. It's a pizza with macaroni and bacon. And how can that be bad? This right here, that shot, that side shot. That side shot makes me very happy. And I'm taking a bite right now. Mm. Forgive me. It's a pizza. What am I doing with a fork? It's a pizza. The spice in here from the seasoning, fantastic. The creaminess of the mac. The smoky bacon. It comes together beautifully. Honestly, I thought it'd be um, carb overload. It actually isn't. I, I know it doesn't look like it, but it's almost quite the opposite. You should try this. You should definitely try this. All right. Until next time, my friends, stay healthy and stay cooking. That's what you must be doing now. You must be cooking. See ya.